As chairman of ICLE in Africa, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to our fourth Local Climate Solutions for Africa Congress. We are building on a proud tradition of LOX Congresses, which convene African local leaders and their stakeholders to connect, learn together, celebrate innovation, and build partnerships as we boldly take up the challenge of building more sustainable cities for our current and future urban generations. For several years now, ICLE and ICLE Africa have been supporting a range of activities to make cities more sustainable. This meeting here today and this week is an incredible achievement of ICLE and I want to congratulate both ICLE Africa, international and also local for pulling off a remarkable event where we will be meeting and discussing some very serious issues. Much of the current speak though in the work that we do in cities is to become more resilient. Another key issue is for us to move from paper, from policy to action. Although some may call for more action in hydrological systems and hard technologies, vulnerability assessments, etc., which are all very much needed, my experience and those of my colleagues has shown that we also need more efforts on effective water governance, systemic water thinking, and a move to greater praxis and social learning. We meet on World Water Day 22 March, being marked this year under the theme Why Waste Water? We do so in a very difficult international conjuncture. Despite the tremendous advances made in developing an international consensus on dealing with climate change, the rise of right-wing populism internationally threatens to undermine our ability to deal with these matters collectively as citizens of the world. We are confident that the ingenuity, the exp experience and the expertise gathered here today will help us to, to ensure that we provide the water necessary to make Africa and its cities the tree of life. We in Africa know that our cities and our urban populations are already affected by climate change very directly and that climate change is going to most probably in sub-Saharan Africa hit our urban populations harder than if not if not all most parts of the world. We need to have that kind of decisive leadership to provide decisive leadership both at the continent level but also globally and this is what this statement is, is about. We have a continent that all studies, scientific studies on climate change, are saying it's a continent that's going to be worst affected by the impacts of climate change. So we are already experiencing uh, water scarcity in our cities. We are already experiencing abundant uh, or problem waters, if I may use that word, in our cities in terms of flooding. And um, if we don't really balance the act here, all the commitments that we have made will just be a facade. So we need that bold leadership, we need that um, decisive leadership, and we need um, that, that, that kind of commitment that we are making in this, in, this, uh, in this statement to actually reconcile these two extremes that Africa is facing. Uh, John C. Maxwell says that everything rises or falls on leadership. It is time that we provide leadership when we are crafting all these agendas that we talked about, including today that form part of the base of the statement that we have, we said we want all these localized because we believe in localization of these and based on the principle of subsidiarity is the best vehicle for implementation. And therefore this places greater honors on us as a civic leaders or as a leaders in the local authorities and in cities and local government to really double our efforts in ensuring that we bring this to bear through implementation.